what I want to talk to you today about is how to make money with goats. The different ways that that are just options for you. Probably not all of them, no. <laughs> but they're definitely going to get your your mind worrying with the possibilities. I believe that there are 13 ways that you can make money with your goats. So let's explore that now. Good morning, my friends. I wanted to talk to you today about something that I really think is an important topic. We are really living in unprecedented times. That I think was like the, the word of the year last year. But I really think it's true. If you're raising animals, you right now are probably thinking about two things. How can I raise my raise animals and grow my own food more and more and become more and more self-sufficient? And the next question you're probably asking is, how can I get these critters to earn their keep? How can I make money from my, my chickens, my pigs, my, my goats? How can I make money with my goats? And that's a really, those both are really good questions. I get emails all the time from people saying, we are working towards becoming more self-sufficient. That is our goal and our dream. And I think that's great. I think it is the best thing to happen to our country and to our world. So let's talk today and just explore the different ways that you can make money with your goats. This is a subject that I'm really passionate about. Several years ago, I put together a PDF of 230 ideas of what you can do on your property to make money. And really, it's, it is extensive, it's a lot. And it's, so it's not like that you're going to go out and do all 230 ideas. The idea behind it is that you will get it on your computer, get it printed out, and look through it with with your friends, your families, your your spouse, your kids, whoever is with you and around you and go through and look look through all the ideas and think, oh, I never thought of that. Let's try this. My encouragement though is that you choose one thing and get really good at that one thing and then move on to the next thing. It's really easy to get overwhelmed in this homesteading self-sufficiency lifestyle. Believe me, I know this for a fact. <laughs> and it can get overwhelming when we get too much on our plate and then our divide our interests are divided and and it none of it works and so we give up and I don't want that for you. But if you want to get that printed out, you can find it below. One of the first and, and maybe kind of the easiest way that, that you can make money with goats is by selling the kids. Now keep in mind, you will be able to get a more premium price for uh, kids and, and goats that are registered. So as you're figuring out what breed you wanna get, decide if you wanna do a registered herd or not. And if that is something that would be, be helpful to you. Also keep in mind that you can do a lot of research on the different bloodlines and, the, and find out with your breed that you choose which bloodlines are, are getting the most money. And if it's possible for you to purchase something that will help in the long run of, of having more valuable animals because of their, their lineage, then go about and, and do that. Find the best animals possible and then just keep an eye out for for animals that are meet your specifications and have really good backgrounds in their in their just their breeding and uh, and are from reputable bre reputable breeders and and add those to your herd. So kidding season is is so wonderful. It's kind of stressful. It's wonderful when it's over <laughs> because you are surrounded by the cutest baby animals on the, this planet Earth. <laughs> and then you can say goodbye to them to good homes. And and that, you know, it just the sale, depending on how many goats you have and how many kids they have, you know, the sale of all the kids can help you pay for the hay for a year. And, and that can be a, a big relief <laughs> because, you know, up here we have to store our, our hay and the food for, for many months of the year. And having that in our storehouses 
and all paid for really makes a difference at the at the end of the year in the middle of the year at the beginning of the year it's wonderful to have that security so that is an excellent idea uh, on how you one way that you can make money with your goats okay so we just talked about the first way that you can make money with goats selling kids now i mentioned that you can really look around and find really good breeding animals to start with that have good quality you know lineage and breeding and and confirmation and production and find the best available for your breed and when you do that you're opening up another door to another avenue of income and that is selling breeding stock when you can get well known in your area in your in your breed and just in the goat world for having really high quality animals. And if you were to keep some does and raise them for several years and really just prove that they are a quality animal, that their milk production is really high, you can sell those animals as breeding stock as well, as proven breeding stock and sell them for more as well. So that is another really great area that you can think about as you're raising your goats. All right, the third way that you can make money with goats is to uh, sell does that are in milk. When I first got started with goats, my husband brought home a, a weather and then we realized we needed a two, so we brought home another one. So we had worthless goats for quite a few years. And then I was like, you know what? We need some milk. And so I set out to find does in milk that were for sale. And that wasn't an easy task. I looked everywhere. There was not one person in my area selling does and milk. There was hardly anyone selling any goats either, really. But definitely no does and milk. And I was going to find does and milk. We actually ended up getting and bringing home goats that were in Washington that were in milk. And so I did pay a bit more for my for my goats because they were a animal in production and but I could come home without having to go through a, a dry cycle and a breeding cycle and a pregnancy cycle and then a kidding cycle and then have milk. I was able to bring goats home that were in production making milk. And that was really a, a cool thing for me. So you could raise does specifically for that purpose. And there may be a, a market for that. That may be something, you know, start putting out those feelers in your area and see if there are, is an interest that people would want to buy a doe already in milk. Just consider having does in milk and, and offering them up for a premium price. So I want to just uh, mention and encourage, I think this is important to point out, not all ideas will work and sometimes ideas don't happen immediately when we snap our fingers, right? <laughs> sometimes we have to, to do some market research and figure out, okay, is this going to work? Uh, and then if we really think it will, we need to then set out to figuring out how to make it work. But if it doesn't work right away or something isn't working about how we're doing it, we need to think, okay, is this a marketing issue? Is this something that we need to, to go about this a bit differently? Is there something that we can do to set ourselves apart from the competition? Is there, there, there it's just so important to um, not just throw up our hands in the air and give up. We have to be willing to dig in and say, okay, this isn't working the way we're doing it. How can we switch things up? How can we, what can we add to make it you know, better or more beneficial? Or do we need to look at the pricing? That's, those are the things that are really important to, to think about when you're setting out to do all of this. Another really good way to make money with goats is by selling meat goats. It is a, a great opportunity in your area to offer goat meat. And it, you know, it's amazing how popular it is. So there are several ways that you can go about doing this. Now, one way is to take 
your your goats, you raise your goats, raise your goat kids, and then take them to a sale barn and sell them through the sale. Now, some years that might not have been a good option, but just recently I had somebody tell me that in Billings, in a town that we would take our, our goats to if we did this and if we raised meat goats, that they are getting over $3 a pound for, for the goats. And that is a really, really good price. So that might be an option. Check your sale barns in your area and find out what they are selling the, the goats for. Okay, so you can sell your goats through the sale barn. That's one option. Another way that you can sell them is by taking them to a certified butcher and then selling the meat from there. But another way that you can also do it is by selling them on the hoof. That means selling them live and then the people that buy them would take them to the butcher and then they would tell the butcher, okay, I want this cut of meat and this cut of meat. And they can tell the butcher how they want the meat to be cut and in, 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 in what cuts they want. So those are three ways that you can sell your meat animals, your meat goats. And really, this will take some market research on your part. I can't tell you which is the best way. I can't tell you the best way to do this. You are going to need to figure out yourself which would be the most profitable. Can you have a specialty market in your area where you can offer, uh, you, you know, that you can offer meat for people in your area, either that they can take it to the butcher themselves and tell them what they want, or you can offer cuts of meat in a, in a little freezer or something on your property uh, that's been certified that, that you can sell. So keep that in mind if you are looking into breeds of goats. Now, if you have the space in the area and the capacity, you can sell meat goats and you can raise milk goats. Those are two different, uh, totally different ways to make money, but you can not just have to choose one or the other, you can do both of them and it might work for you. So what we just talked about was kind of just the, the processed meat or the, that you can sell goats for meat, but you can also sell meat goats as in you can Again, work on your genetics, work on a really, really good quality of meat goat and sell those meat goats for to other people that want to raise goats for meat. So not only can you raise goats for meat, you can raise them to sell to other people to raise for meat. So again, this is just really about thinking of all avenues, all <laughs> everything uh, from different perspectives and, and getting it so that you can raise goats for many different purposes, many different ways to make money. So <laughs> I hope that inspires you to think about the different ways with meat goats even that you can make money. Yeah. You don't need to be chewing on me. Oh my goodness, she's eating my hair, don't. Don't eat my hair. No, don't. I just need to get the video done. I just, ah, no, don't lick me. No, I don't want to kiss. I don't want to kiss. No, I don't, no. Just let me get done, okay? Okay. No more distractions. Now, I wanted to talk about several more ways, two more ways, that you can make money with goats. And it deals with these gross dudes. <laughs> Your bucks can be a potential way that you can make money. You can do either a stud service or you can lease your buck. Before you do this though, you need to set out some clear guidelines of the do's and the don'ts and what you will allow and not allow. Because you do want to have a closed herd. When you have an open herd, you're potentially allowing in a lot of disease and um, sickness and different parasites to your area. So you don't just want to willy-nilly lease your buck out to someone or bring does into your property that will bring disease and parasites that you don't want. Get. Go away. So when you do this, you need to make sure that your 
herd, your buck and your does that you own are kept safe. So it is really important that you provide uh, some paperwork and make sure that the goats that, you, that if you bring does onto your property to uh, as a stud service, that they are from a closed herd themselves, that they have been tested for all of the diseases that, that might, like the CAE and Yonis, and make sure that they are um, wormed and are worm free or as you know as low worm count as possible and that they are um, just in really good health and this would go the same if you were to uh, lease your buck to go to another property you need to know what the property looks like you need to make sure that the fences are good that they're not going to get hurt that they're safe they're not going to get out you know from the fences get on the road and get hit you need to make sure that again that that's a closed herd that all of the, the testing has been done to make sure that they are healthy and so just know that this is an option but it's something that you need to do your due diligence to make sure that the goats are healthy and safe and as far as pricing, again, that will be something you'll have to do some market research on. You'll have to figure out in your area what the market will bear. What are other people offering? Um, what will people? What are people willing to pay? And so, this is just something. If you decide to do this or think this is an option, then you can um, just figure out what will work uh, for your area. The next three areas that you can make money with goats is by using or selling the milk or variations of the milk. So the first thing that you can do is to check your state laws and just make sure that it's actually legal to do this. But in some areas you can sell goat milk to people. Now, some areas you can sell it, sell it for human consumption. Some areas you can sell it for, you know, pet milk. And in some areas, it is just completely illegal. So in some areas also, though, you can actually uh, sell herd shares of your goats and, and sell the milk that way. So you can look into your area ask around and find out what the laws and regulations for your state are and see if it is legal to sell goat milk. Now with that, there are other options as well as selling the milk. So there are, you can sell it for human consumption. You could sell it for, you know, some people are looking for goat milk for, for their orphaned animal, for, you know, a dog or uh, I've even had people asking for, for pigs. I have had them asking for foals, like if a, if a foal has lost its mother, then goat milk can work for that really well. So there are a kind of, if you have people in your area that are needing, needing milk, to raise a baby animal, goat milk is a really good option. And so just keep your eyes out for that and, and get the word out that you do have goat milk for things, situations like that. And whether or not it's legal or illegal to sell raw milk to, to humans for whatever reason, um, you can also then turn your milk into something else. So you can turn your goat milk into goat milk soap. You can turn it into goat milk lotion. Now these are things that uh, will take some, some experience. You'll have to learn how to do it, learn the best ways to do it. And honestly, you might be asking, well, is it saturated? It seems like, you know, everyone in their goat, maybe that's the way to say it, <laughs> is making goat milk lotion and goat milk soap right now. And maybe this, the maybe it is saturated in your area, and this wouldn't be something that you can do. But I encourage you to not give up just immediately. Well, so and so sells it, or so and so sells it, so we can't do it. Don't don't ever think that way, because I want to encourage you that there's always a better way to market, and there is always a better way to do things. And so you can. Is there some way that you can make goat milk soap, goat milk lotion that is different from the competitors, that has a different ingredient that has a different uh, marketing attached to it that has a different setup where maybe instead of just selling you know one item you would sell a group of items together or you maybe you if you're selling goat meat or goat or, or goat you know products 
other than just these that you could do a package deal where if people bought a basket from your property and I'm going into like how to make money on your full property if you were to grow a lot of food in your garden and have a, a lot of that, an abundance of that, that you were to sell, you know, baskets of vegetables that maybe say, you know, if you buy a basket of vegetables weekly, you can also pick out one bar of soap and, and add that into the pricing of the basket. Uh, or, you know, that's just one idea that I just thought of uh, at the top of my head, just, uh, just right there. But if you sit down and really think through of the different ways that you can uh, market it and sell it, combine it with other products, uh, that might really set you apart from the competition. What is it in your area that is really special, um, that that, ha that is known for health benefits? Uh, you know, what what is that special ingredient that you can add that that really would add to it and, and be beneficial, um, but that would really set you apart? All right, so that was several more ways that you can make money with the goat milk. We have a few more ideas left. Let's talk about those. So just the uh, last night, I read an email from a gal that said, you know, we only had two goats and now we have seven or something like that. I mean, it was like her, they hadn't planned on having that many goats and now, or maybe it was 10 goats. I can't remember the number, but it was that goat math thing that happens. You know, it's, when you have the kids, it's really hard to say goodbye, so you just end up keeping them all. <laughs> so if you're in that situation where you have more goats than you really need, you might need to put them to work. And in this idea of how to make money with goats, it actually uses a, a herd of goats. So that's a good thing. So some people in some areas are making quite a bit of money actually leasing their goats, goats out to graze, pasture graze uh, land so they the, the goats go out and they actually are clearing brush and helping I mean they can really help in a year of fire goats are actually a very good idea goats can be utilized to help clear land and it, it not only uh, clears the land and, and there's benefits in that but it's also reduces the fire hazard. And so you can actually put together, research this again, put together a plan where you know you have 10 goats or 20 goats or your herd of goats that, that can be split up and go here and here or they can all go to one area and, you, and people can actually rent your goats to go clean their pasture land. Now that does mean that they'll need to be fencing figured out, you know, if that's uh, electric fence or something like that that you can put up and and they will need to be moved there there will need to be access to water or provided water and so it's not that you go and just dump them off <laughs> they still need to be cared for but that might be an option for you to think about okay we're getting towards the end of our ideas but this is one of the last ones you can actually raise bum lambs on goat's milk so many times uh, a sheep will have three kids and just like a goat you know but sometimes they can't produce them or it's something that that the the owner who is raising a lot of sheep they just don't have time for bums there's so much going on already and they just don't have time for it and so you can sometimes find bum lambs for really low price or even free potentially and you can bring them home and raise them on the goat's milk and then uh, again go through the process of what we're doing here of, of raising those sheep to sell for uh, for meat or to increase I guess your own herd if you're wanting to raise sheep as well so that is something that that, that you could think about as you're like do you do you can you raise sheep do you have the land to raise sheep can you raise them you know for the months that it's required to get them to wait so you can sell them um, at the sale barn or sell them for meat um, as well so keep that in mind as another idea and a possibility all right, the final idea that we're going to talk about is that as your knowledge about goats increases, as you learn more and more about them, you could even start thinking about offering educational classes in your area about goats. Uh, or you can um, open up your, your farm to farm tours. And, and, and when, you know, people love to see uh, baby goats and it's so fun um, to, to let people in your community come into your little farm and see the potential uh, and just to open it up where people 
can can experience farm life you know it's amazing we live this lifestyle it, it is ingrained in us we love this we've we have, we're surrounded by animals every day but most people aren't and some kids you know they have never pet a goat in their life and so think about those things that can is there any way that you could do some educational classes in your area is there any way you can open up your your farm to little farm tours and charge a small cover fee for that for families to come in and and see all your animals pet your goats play with the the kids and you know there might even be you know going into that you might not even do educational courses on goats but maybe you're doing educational educational things like yoga you know you're, you're teaching classes on yoga and you are uh doing that when the kids are young and and then having goat yoga you know that's the the new craze um i've never done goat yoga and i, I, I when i first heard about it years ago i, I laughed i thought that's so crazy uh, and so that maybe that's something in your area that people would get a really big kick out of of having little kid goats jumping on them while they're doing yoga <laughs> so remember that proves right there why you should never <laughs> dismiss or laugh at a, a, a crazy idea. I mean, goat yoga, <laughs> really, it's about thinking outside the box, thinking of ways that are radical and crazy and, and kind of make you giggle and laugh. Sometimes those are the ideas that stick and, and are the best ideas. So as you are thinking through all of these ideas, <laughs> Don't discount any that I haven't even mentioned because it might be just the ticket for you and your goats. Well, Kira and I just wanna thank you for joining us in this video. We hope it's given you lots of good ideas on how to make money with goats. And, and hopefully there were some ideas in there that really got your, your mind to, to thinking about all the possibilities. So if you haven't subscribed already, already, please do that. Hit that bell because that's really the only way you'll be notified of if I post new videos, when I post new videos. And hit that like button because that just shows YouTube that you got a lot out of this and YouTube will show this video to more people. So thank you for liking and I love your comments. Please comment below if, um, if you already are doing some of the, these ideas and, and what ideas have worked for you and what ideas you want to try. Don't forget to check out the resources below. There are a lot of them in the description of this video that you can check out that will definitely help you in your goat journey and on your way in this. What else, Kira? Is there anything else you wanted to add? Is there anything else you wanted to add? All right, go give your goats a hug for me. Say hello, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.